Hi, I'm Kathy Carson, star of the movie Driven to Succeed and member of Baltimore Rock Opera Society. Pew, pew, pew. And this is Ellie. Ellie, tell the people about yourself. Hi, my name's Ellie Church. I've done movies like Frankenstein Created Bikers, Harvest Lake, Blank Face, uh, Space Babes from Outer Space, and uh, we're here to talk about some things. I'm not saying like who's your favorite director, but like when you're working with a director, like what makes you the most comfortable? What makes me the most comfortable, and it, and it sounds weird, but what makes me the most comfortable is when a director um, <clears throat> stops me to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I, do, I get that. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, I don't like a silent director. I can't, I can't deal with it. Um, it. It makes me almost paranoid. I want lots of input. Right. Uh, I want the director to know their character inside and out and know exactly who they want them to be mm -hmm. um, and make me do it. <laughs> I've, I've worked with a few people that, um, you know, they're, they're pretty laid back and I'm into that. But I also, I like a firm hand. A uh, tiny hand. <laughs> <laughs> I've done film and I've done theater stuff. And I feel like in film, I don't, I don't know. It's almost like they expect you to know what you're getting into mm. ahead of time in theater, mm. not so much. And I don't know how you feel, like how you experience that. I have not done theater, which is something that I really regret. Re <laughs> really regret um but i really love to try it i feel like um there's probably a there's ease with that because you've just gone over it so many times mm -hmm. and you know your shit and uh i wish film were more that way where we could have more rehearsal especially indie film but it's just not oh, that yeah. way it, yeah it just never happens there's no there's not the money or the time it would be very helpful it would be the most helpful a lot of times and especially with some of these movies where it's like we only have this venue for like an hour. Yeah. So we just got to do it. Got to get in and out. And like you just don't have that option. Yeah. I did a film on 35 millimeter, which, you know, you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. Once they start rolling, that's money. And uh, so that one, I got to rehearse a lot. The way I got into filmmaking was, was kind of through Troma. I started doing uh, conventions through them and Lloyd would introduce me to directors at the convention and be like she's an actress and he would lie and say she's in all these movies she's in like five of these movies and so I just would kind of work with anyone and mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. and that's just I, I didn't know I, I didn't have any training I just started how I you know how I knew to start but I think maybe I would have been a little bit pickier about what projects I did mm -hmm. but I kind of just thought wow I'm in a movie yeah totally oh my god my advice to myself five years ago would be like kind of the opposite but not totally dissimilar because i would say yes to more stuff but i would definitely want to be like read what you're getting yeah. before you do it ask a lot of questions that's and that's what i do now anytime anybody asks me to do anything now I, I'm like, all right, especially if it's through Messenger or whatever, I'm like, all right, are you ready for a whole bunch of questions? Because I'm going to ask you a shit ton of questions. Mm -hmm. It's going to be ridiculous. Are you ready? We've got a brand new film coming out. Uh, it's premiering May 20th of this year, and it's Space Babes from Outer Space. It's a, like, real screwballs sort of sex comedy, just real silly. It's, it's awesome. Uh, I've seen the rough cut of it. And I laughed my ass off and I can't wait. A friend of mine and I wrote a original rock opera called Mortified. That's coming out. Spring of 2018, everybody. <laughs> so watch out, Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>